here you've got a picture of what it would look like here in the time of Jesus. So you have today's line get line gate, you move the one we walk through, you've got the pools of Bethesda, and then over here you've got the sheep's gate. So when it talks about the sheep's gate in the uh, Gospel of John chapter 5, which is read, that sheep's gate rather than this sheep's gate. Um, we've then walked along the street over to where the Antonia fortress would have been. And this is the big fortress that they built next to the, uh, to the temple now. Right. So this is one of the places where uh, it's possible where Jesus was detained and uh, where his trial was. The other possible location is Herod's palace, that we saw pointed out to us uh, on Jerusalem, a like model. That might have been where Herod, where Pilate stayed when he was in Jerusalem. Let me read to you about Jesus' trial in John chapter 18. Then the Jewish, so Jesus had just been trialed by the Jewish leaders and found guilty. So it says, Then the Jewish leaders took Jesus from Caiaphas to the palace of the Roman governor. By now it was early morning, and to avoid ceremonial uncleanness, they did not enter the palace uh, because they wanted to be able to eat uh, the Passover. So Pilate came out to them and asked, What charges do you bring against this man? If you were not a criminal, they replied, we would, have, we would not have handed him over to you. Pilate said, Take him yourselves and judge him by your own law. For we have no right to execute anyone they objected. This took place to fulfill what Jesus had said about the kind of death he was going to die. Pilate then went back inside the palace, summoned Jesus, and asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Is, it, is that your own idea, Jesus? Asked, or did others talk to you about me? Am I a Jew? He, and Pilate replied, Your own people and chief priests handed you over to me. What is it you have done? Jesus said, My kingdom is not of this world. If it were, my servants would fight to prevent my arrest by the Jewish leaders. But now my kingdom is from another place. You are my king then, said Pilate. Jesus answered, You say that I am king. In fact, the reason I was born and came into the world is to testify to the truth. Everyone on this side, on the side of truth, listens to me. What is truth? Retorted Pilate. With this he went out again to the Jews gathered there and said, I find no basis for a charge against him. But is this your custom? But it is, but it is your custom for me to release to you one prisoner at the time of Passover. Do you want me to, re to release the king of the Jews? They shouted back, No, not him. Give us Barabbas. Now Barabbas had taken part in an uprising. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him flogged. Um, I'm going to stop it. We're going to read on as we head down the stairs. Now, when they excavated this place, uh, they found downstairs uh, large stones, paving stones. Uh, leading them to think that this might be a place called Gabbatha, where Jesus will be later. Gabbatha. It's in nine, uh, chapter 19, verse 13, it says, uh, Pilate brought Jesus up and sat him down on the judge's seat at a place known as the Stone Pyramid, which in Aramaic is, which in Aramaic is Gabbatha. I think that this might have been a uh, place called Gabbatha, and we'll read on a bit about that as we head down. What they found on the stone pavement was uh, this uh, game, which they think is called the King's Game. So you have uh, these B's here. It's uh, the Greek letter B, uh, which is uh, which represents the Greek word for king, Basileus. And I think it's something like uh, you had to throw a stone into. Let's see. Yeah, so it says it. The double square represents the dice and the soldiers would, would throw marks into this space uh, and the large circle represents a crown. So you've got different uh, carvings. Uh, yeah, so it says the black line is thought to represent the lifeline. The line crossing it towards the end represents a sword uh, which cuts the lifeline. It's part of the game in 
means the death for the prisoner. So this is a game that the uh, Roman guards would have played. And if you think about what happened to Jesus, how they mocked him for being a king, uh, this is what they might have played just before they came out to do that. Uh, it's a very interesting place, uh, very evocative. Well, let's head down and have a look at it. Come on down. 